Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video today. We're starting a new journey on the 500k series ladies and gentlemen It's no longer gonna be the 500k. It's gonna be the million dollar series We owe the bank a million dollars So we have four years to make a million dollars. So let's see what we can do um, Of course the 500k series will fast it went corrupt or thought that so that just went that way and I couldn't really fix it so I decided to switch maps and we have a, a little bit better of a series planned on this one than what we have before but ladies and gentlemen let's no longer keep y'all waiting and let's go ahead and go into the video alright ladies and gentlemen so right now we're on the way we gotta go pick up some seed um, real fast I'm coming from where we were at over there in Moss and it's sad to see we had to sell that farm but actually there's our current farm right there but we're going to I'll show you more about that in a minute but right now we're heading over to the dealership they have my trailer with some seed on it and some fertilizer and all kind of good stuff that we're going to need to go ahead and get started this winter uh, the original farmer that was farming this he just let everything go ahead and uh, wither away so we just got to hurry up and get stuff going I mean it, what I was seeing you know, is it just had snow on the ground yesterday so we're doing pretty good and no, no snow hopefully be able to start ripping into the ground today she is packed loaded full of seed fertilizer uh ooh, what's all there let's have some seeds some fertilizer I'll be able to tell you more if we look outside oh no I didn't load it I just told him what I needed all right. load that up close the tailgate we got some herbicide, some fertilizer, some lime up top. Oh yeah, we're doing pretty good. Or is that solid fertilizer? A solid fertilizer or lime? That's solid fertilizer. Okay, so we have solid fertilizer. Okay. They gave me a variety like I wanted. So we're just going to go ahead and take this back to the farm and roll. This old Ford filling that. They don't like it too much. We're going to pull on that here, make sure no one's coming. Head towards the farm. Which yesterday I stopped by the farm real fast. I put up the Kubota. I did keep the Kubota. I didn't keep any of the other tractor stuff. I got rid of all the other tractors and went with newer tractors that was in this area because it just been too much to transport all of them here. And it was more cost efficient. And plus, I got rid of I got rid of the majority of that farm. I had someone go in and offer me a pretty hefty price. Cause I paid uh 500k for that last one someone thank the lord came in and matched me and even gave me a little over because I paid 1.1.25 1 1.2 1 she is struggling to get up here you don't like it too much but hey she'll get up here all right here we are ladies and gentlemen to the new farm it says a uh, cattle like dairy farm or something like that um, we're gonna do some dairy. That is the plan. Uh, we're gonna do some fertilizing, spreading. We're gonna do all that good stuff. But as of right now, we do have something we need to go ahead and start doing. Let's look at some machinery. Um, got some machinery in here. I did go ahead and get another case magnum. I know how much I love the case magnum, so I went ahead and got that. I went and got me another one of those. Got me a couple new trash. Some of these trashes I thought that came with. This came with the farm. This grinder came with it. A lot of this hay equipment came with the farm. Uh, we got pretty lucky. The, the green wagons over there came with it, so I didn't have to bring my green wagons back. I do miss the Chevy. I might get it again. Might buy another one. Uh, we have that there. I purchased that and put it on here. The Holy Grail of machinery in here. You have our feeding stuff for cattle. You have our disc. You have our Case IH truck combine. Uh, I kind of really like this one. This is really the 2588. Uh, this right here will do us a lot of good work. Or something like that. Of course, you got our Kubota. And that's a variety of tractors. But today, we're actually going to take the 8400 right here. Or 8100. 8110. Lord have mercy. It's been a long day. <laughs> but uh, we got to go ahead and get everything pulled out. So we're going to start her up here. Uh, pull her over here to the side just so we're not in the way we got to pull that disc out because we got to do some disking of land today you know, my, by the way there's our uh, what we're going to be using to plant with I figured that would have been an upgrade compared to what we were going to use alright ladies and gentlemen let me get the Kubota over here real fast and we'll bring it back once we get 
everything figured out all right and we got that pulled out right now we're gonna go ahead and come over here towards the fields uh we own a large majority of fields actually let's stop here real fast look at the map if you look here this is everything we own a lot of this is planted we gotta go in here and cultivate all this with the plow get a lot of it we gotta get these two these two are the big ones that i was really wanting to get done today but a lot of these strips we gotta get done there thought that shouldn't be too hard something pretty easy to deal with now let's go ahead and head on over here there we go we are now cultivating my bad disking it up so we'll go ahead and just bring it on down through here and disc up the ground make her look all pretty and we might actually need a bigger tractor that will end up getting one right now but it's worth for now you going in here uh hopefully be able to buy some more cattle here pretty soon so what i want to do is here pretty soon once we get all the cultivation done and planting then the next few episodes will be nothing but planting and cultivation I uh, already know that but once we get that done I want to really want to start working on some hay get some silage done uh, there's some people I've been talking to about getting some silage mixers out here even maybe even getting like a bunker at some point because I hear making the silage bunkers are a little bit cheaper than doing the silage bales so we might look and see what we can do uh, it all just depends on what we can financially afford for the farm we gotta go ahead and back it on up here. Lower her down. And she's lower down to the ground. And just started pulling. So girl doesn't like this too much. She'll pull. Oh yeah. Doing a really good job. Looks like looks like he's cutting up the bean stalks pretty well. It looks like he's doing a really good job overall. Um, there's nothing really to complain about coming out of me at this point. The farm overall just looks beautiful out here. Like this is a beautiful land. Maybe eventually we're gonna cultivate some of this uh, unused like grass or something because we don't need this much grass. But for the first year, I kind of want to not do that currently. I want to kind of keep it as much as I can to this agriculture state um just because that's what the far, farmer before me did but next year when i get a when i'm gonna get like a bottom row plow uh after the harvest we should be able to like make it some of these fields into one i know i'd want to make all these fields right here into like one bigger field so we can do about making that come to fruition all right we're gonna keep on going here actually once i get done doing this pass right here I want or get to the end right here I want to kind of get out and kind of see what kind of work this disc is doing see if I need to concave them or not kind of see if I need to do some adjustments to the baskets because uh, I haven't ever ran this before this was the other farmers so let's kind of look right here let's good. she looks like she's running deep enough into good mixture low soil on top like you want just enough uh, breaking up uh, it looks pretty good to me Oh, that's good enough what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pull us to the top of the field actually we'll just drop her down here and just pull this middle part but we're just gonna keep on going which we're almost done with this uh field or something like that this is smaller fields which our combines gonna do really well at getting the smaller fields out but we're gonna be having those huge fields up top um, I'm gonna call those fields uh, granny's fields because those are up near where the granny's house is um, And these fields, like this field over here. I'm gonna call it lucky This lucky I bought it Get it get it yeah. All right, so we're gonna finish this up right here. I'm gonna turn around do a quick u-turn get over there We don't want to bore y'all so give me a minute and I'll be back all right now that we're done that field right here we're going to hit across this grass uh we're going to go past 81 and then we're going to hit 82 real fast and hit it up uh this looks like it was corn or... yeah that's corn so we're going to go ahead and just diss this in ain't nothing too hard of course that's where we're going to be planting by the way ladies and gentlemen is nothing but corn and soybeans uh maybe some cotton here and there uh but we're just going to really have to get the money to be able to do some cotton farming 
Trying to get this, this in real fast. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle. And right now, we're getting the rest of this field done right here. Make her look all pretty. Done. Dusted. We're going to head down here and do this middle field. That should pretty much is all this is. is putting it in the ground, drilling it, drilling it out. Making it look all pretty. We'll say one of the tires are looking low, so I might have to change a tire here pretty soon. But this tractor right here, she's out of power. She doesn't have enough power for this. I will. I was looking at the Case Magnum. The Case Magnum has more horsepower than this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna real fastly uh, unattach her. Alrighty, so we're just gonna head over here. We gotta pull out the farm wall first. Oh, start that up. This right here is going to be like our auger tractor uh, and the tractors to move stuff around the farm with. But today she's just going to be placed over here out of the way. Because um, we got to do a couple things. I'm going to eventually get like a dryer set up for her and we're going to have all kinds of things. She's also going to be here to move like this type of stuff around for us. Okay, so now that we got that, we can get the old Case IH Magnum out. The 8950. Back her on out. She has more horsepower than the other tractor does. So this one then the 81. So it should be perfect for this kind of field work. Which eventually I want to get like a bigger tractor, so I might trade in like a tractor to get like a bigger version. Something that's not gonna struggle at all with this uh, implement. But she shouldn't struggle. If she does, we got problems. She should pull it at a better rate than what the John Deere was. Oh yeah, she seems like she wants to just go with it. There we go. Now we have an implement not struggling. I figured it was doing that a little bit, so it's just one of the things you gotta deal with in farming. Sometimes the equipment's not powerful enough like you think it is. Today we're getting this done. There'll be a piece of cake to get her done. She struggle some, but not hardly as much as I believe it was. Whew. Give me a second, I can pull up the spec sheets on my phone. Here's our three medium tractors. So the KSH is 260, and the John Deere is 165. So that shows me right there that we were way beneficial. Keep on going here, keep on moving as best we can. Make this field into some light work. Which this field right here, I think I've already decided what it's going to be. I think it's going to go straight into beans again. Because uh, the beans didn't really do anything to it. I mean, we're putting those beans right back into the ground. So that we can put this straight back in the beans. Uh, the corn, we're going to put some of them in the beans. We're going to put some in back in the corn. Just pretty much do a mixture of stuff. Best we can. Um, also, I want to do at least one field, like a couple of like these rows or something like that, of straw. Of uh, wheat. So I can get some straw bales because we're planning on buying some cattle unless I decide just to buy the straw bales. Because if you look here on the dealership, at the dealership's website, real fast, I'm gonna stop. Uh, straw bales are pretty expensive, but they're not terribly expensive. So we'll just keep on going. And we're almost done with this little top portion up here. I mean, this truck right here is making it quicker work than what the John Deere was doing. I'll give it to the case. I've never been a huge fan of the Case IH, but I mean, you gotta give the Case IH credit. I love the way this tractor looks and drives. I mean, uh, sadly, there ain't no monitors. Eventually, we're gonna do some upgrades to her, but because I don't think she's fully maxed out. Uh, the previous, what's it called the previous owner just kind of had her sitting here. So, uh, looks like we got another field of I want to say wheat. Let's look at the map. What in the world is that? Is that canola? The beans? Oh, it was beans. Now these two up here, that is... That is that, and... Guessing that. These two up here were corn and... Yeah. So I might just swap those around to make those into opposite of what those are. But this right here is a bigger field, so this is going to take us a little bit longer to do. And it's going to be a little bit of fun to do it. Eventually, I want to hire like a couple of people, bring them onto the series. Um, make this a little bit more of a fun. 
thing with this type of stuff. So we're just gonna keep on moving though. But ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do real fast is just so y'all know, uh, we're gonna do a quick, easy, just so y'all not gonna sit here and continuously watch me. So we're doing a little bit of fast paces. I'll go ahead and let y'all have fun and be able to watch a time lapse through this. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start a time lapse um, for this for these next three fields or for these two fields. I'm gonna do that one off camera. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we're finished up this last little bit of the pass. We gotta go back there and get that a little bit. We did this feel pretty fast. I'm gonna hire a worker, uh, one of the local boys. I think his name is Daniel. So he told me he knows how to run a trash, so we're gonna let him do some of this work. Um, that right there is one of the pastures. I think we do own that pasture. We might put some horses out in it, do some stuff like that. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep on moving on here, getting this field done. And next episode, we will be starting planting. I can't wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate everything y'all do so very much. See you in the next one. Peace!